Jordan, will you double check the breakers on? I am undecided between the cups and not the cups. So not only do I need this space to function well, I also want it to be beautiful. Up on the dash and the calling open road. Hey, it's Matt and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. I'm so happy to have you. So we are somewhere you guys know really well, but we're looking at it from a perspective you don't see very often. Oh, she's going up into her bed. This section of my apartment is where I film most of my YouTube videos. It is where I set up my desk for all my sewing videos, any sort of like DIY projects to any like desktop projects that need to be done also get done in this space. This space also acts as Jordan's desk for when he needs to work. It also as, acts as my desk for when I need to do computer work, any editing or anything like that. Anything I do with the computer, I do in here too. And it is also Jordan's like gaming setup. He plays all of his video games here with his friends. So this space wears a lot of hats and it needs some love. For my first retro renovation of the year, we are tackling this space. Dun dun dun, so exciting. Like I said, this space wears a lot of hats. So not only do I need this space to function well, I also want it to be beautiful because you see this pretty much wherever you are in the apartment. When I'm standing in the kitchen, I can see this space. When we're sitting on the couch, we can see this space. You walk in from the front door, you see this space. So I want it to be pretty and match my aesthetic and my vibe while also performing like functionally at a high level. I know I'm asking a lot, but I think I can do it. I believe in myself and I, I, believe, I, I believe I can make this work. There's another one. I, over the last few weeks, actually these frames, some of them I've had for months, just waiting for the right project. I've been amassing and collecting some things that I wanna put into this space that will serve as like a jumping off point and a stylistic uh, framework for what we're going to do. The first thing I've been collecting is frames. I have a lovely stack of a variety of frames. I wanted pieces that would stand out but also work really well together. The first little frame that I have is this beautiful wooden frame. I thrifted this. Um, actually, all of them are thrifted. They're all secondhand. I love this. It's actual real wood. The color is just stunning. And I feel like just a little, like little landscape or something little in here is going to look beautiful. Next frames that I have are actually two of the same. They're a matching set of frames that I thrifted together. And they have this really beautiful, like, bubbling detail and I like that it's a set and that these ones are square. I like having a mixture of different sizes and shapes in my frames in a gallery wall. I think that makes it more interesting while also making it feel more like a collection of things rather than like I just went to Ikea and bought a bunch of frames, which is fine. It's just not my style. The next frame I have Ooh, I only paid $4 for this one. This uh, is also wood. It's a little simpler, a little skinnier, but I thought it really matched the highlights in some of the other frames. The, the gold twinge that it has almost acts as like a little bit of a light point. And I love this size. I think this size for a gallery wall works really well. The next frame is my second largest. It's pretty close in size picture wise to the previous one. Like they're, they're, I think they're exactly the same. I think they're eight by tens, but this frame is a lot thicker and beefier. It is a simpler setting, but it has the light and the dark elements and also that gold that I really love. And it does have some detail that is similar to the frame we made for the TV. And the frame for the TV 
and this gallery wall, you see them and like you can look at them at the same time in this apartment. So I like to have like carry over so that it's like, oh, this detail is similar to this detail. I find that that makes a, a place flow better, especially in a small space. And my last frame that I have collected is my biggest and my like chunkiest. I really just love this. It is really simple. It says it's a 10 by 12 made in Canada, which means it was made here, which I love. I love finding stuff where you can like know where it came from. I think it's really beautiful. It's solid wood. And I think I paid like $4 for it, which I don't know, to me, that's a great deal. All right. And the last thing that I've already collected for this space that I know is going in this space is her. As she's been sitting in the background, I know you've been waiting for me to talk about her. This is a vintage chandelier light. I actually thrifted this yesterday with my sister when we were out. Um, I got this at Habitat for Humanity for $25, which is crazy. I love this shape and it's already a really good size for this space. It's not too big. It's not too ornate, but it does have lots of beautiful detail. But I do want to change a few things about it. I'm not in love with the white and the gold. I am not someone, I don't really like stark white. I don't know if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I'm a fan of an off-white, a mushroomy white, a something with a little more oomph than white. I find white to be very clinical. In a house with four cats, two of them being black, white becomes dirty very fast. I like something that is a little bit more cozy. And I am not a huge, huge fan of the gold. This color of gold, this super bright shiny gold is not my favorite. I'm more of a brass girl, a brushed brass if possible. So I think we can do a couple of super simple painting changes to this chandelier to make it feel a lot more like it was made for this space. Now that we figured out and gone over everything I already have for this space, I wanna take a look on the internet, on Pinterest, and see what else I want for this space and how I want this to come together and really get a clearer picture on what we're going for. So let's pull up Pinterest. <laughs> let's see. Oh my God, first of all, let's look at these cats. Oh my God, they are so cute. Oh, I love them. This one kind of looks like seven. Oh, I love him. Okay, I love him. Okay, he's cute. Anywho, okay, <laughs> focus, Madison focus okay let's see what we can come up with let's go vintage desk set up let's see what that pulls up for us Ooh, okay i love this this is really beautiful yeah i like the shelves with the desk and then the two shelves there that's really pretty i like the lighting they've got going on and the lots of plants I have to be careful with putting plants anywhere because of the cats and their plants can be toxic to them and ketchup is known to chew. So we do have to be a little bit more careful about the types of plants we bring into the house, but I think we can incorporate that in some way. Let's see if there's anything under this. Oh, wow. Oh, this is pretty. I like this. Oh. <gasps> This is a mounted computer on the wall. I have been thinking about doing that for Jordan's computer. Maybe I can convince him. They even have all of their like set up here still like as a computer desk, but this looks really beautiful. I love the like eclectic vibe and that it feels cozy and not clinical. That is my least favorite thing about a desk setup or a gaming setup is that it ends up feeling really clinical. Let's see if there's anything else down here. Oh, I think this is a more out version of that picture. Okay, yeah, I really love that. I love the mounted TV to make it look like a picture that's a part of the gallery wall. I am making a mental note of that. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I love that. So the plants, the mounted computer. Now I wonder if 
I'm dyslexic. Um, let's see. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna need a new desk. The desk that we currently have, we've had for a very long time, and it's actually a hodgepodge of two IKEA desks. From one of the times we moved, we had to get rid of one, and we put this, the, the contraption for the um, standing desk that I used to use for when I worked from home, and Jordan's old tabletop. So this tabletop actually doesn't fit the standing desk set up and it's a little small. I would love something a little bit bigger because for my sewing projects that would be nice. And this, the shape and the style of this, there's just no, there's no saving it. We've had it for a really long time and I think I could find it a better home. Ooh, sorry I'm getting sidetracked. I love this lamp as a desk lamp. That is really pretty, like a little vintage table lamp would be nice over here. Yeah, I would love something like this. More like a writing desk style. I really love the legs here in the detail. And to have some drawers would be like on the wish list. That would be amazing. I want to do my best to find something second hand. So I don't think we're going to be able to get a desk today. I've been looking and there's just nothing that quite fits the bill. But what we can do today is get started on fix our get started on the small DIY the DIY I want to do to that new vintage well new to me chandelier. Feet up on the dash and the calling open road. Road trip classics on the radio With your hand tied in mine There's no such thing as time Now we can go anywhere you want to go Okay, we're outside. The audio is gonna be crazy back here, but here is where we're at. The top is all black. I've got the middle section down and it's nice and dry. I just have to do the arms. I was also able to get all of the little cups done. The insides, I don't think I need to do because you won't see them. They'll sit like this. So I think that will be fine to do that. I might put a third coat on them. They're looking like they might need it, so maybe. And I've got the bulb done and then the little pieces for the bottom. So I am just gonna spray paint this bottom with my bare gold, just to make it nice and match the other golds that I have in the apartment already. We have finished spray paint. It is done. A little sneak peek here. Da, 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 da. Oh. I am undecided between the cups and not the cups. These are the light bulbs, by the way, if you can see. I can't decide if I like the cups or not, so I'm going to play with that maybe a little bit later. But for now, we just have to do the installation. Hold on, let me go make sure the breaker is off. Okay, breaker is off. Let's double check. Yes. Yes, none of these lights turn on anymore. Amazing. Enter stage left. Are you on my left side? Enter inside this stage. Jordan! No, you're too tall. Go back here. 
Oh. I always forget how much taller he is than me. That's not a weird flex. It's actually kind of sad because I should know how tall he is, but I forget. I am not a girl who appreciates height. So his height means nothing to me. I'm I'm sorry. If if anything, it's mildly annoying because I have to do this all the time. <laughs> like, <laughs> I stepped like ten feet behind you and so I can be. Yeah, look at oh here. <laughs> Anywho, he's gonna help me with this light because he's tall. Amazing. So what? Didn't this is one of those things that you don't want to know about? Because they get so precarious in there. Oh. It was painted on there, not by me. That was white paint, landlord special style. Oh. Yeah. My question? Uh huh. How do you think you were going to do this without me? I didn't. I, I always knew I would employ you for this part. For this part, just the whole thing? I just didn't tell you. Check the breakers on? Uh, yes. Breakers on. Moment of truth. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Ah! It is bright. Ooh. Do you think it's too bright? I think it's too bright. It's so bright. The light in here we had before, not this bright. It's a little bright. I think I'm going to have to go to Home Depot and see if I can get some of those same light bulbs, but with a lower luminosity. Yeah. I don't hate the color of that light, especially for this, like, you can't even see it on camera, is that right? But. Wow, I have spots in my eyes. <laughs> it is beautiful. It looks crooked from this angle. I'll futz with that, but I am so happy. It looks so much better. Ignore the crookedness, oh my God. Oh, okay, I am envisioning this section of the house so much better now. This adds so much, much more vintage. Is it, is it that the ceiling isn't right? I'm going to leave it. Thank you guys. Are you going to be part of my outro? You want to stay? Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Well, you have to stand way far back because you're too tall. <laughs> He's got Trixie up on his shoulder. Ignore the dirty kitchen. Actually, you guys don't need to see all that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us while we planned and plotted the rest of this makeover. I'm so happy with how the chandelier DIY turned out. I think it's gonna set a really good pace for this makeover and act as a really nice jumping off point. I'm very excited to see what we get up to with this gallery wall and I am on the hunt for a new desk and a rug and a chair. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It's always a pleasure. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Jordan, you want to show them Trixie? Normally I give them a cat at the end. Oh, look at the little angel. Oh, she'll sit up there for hours with him. She'll just sit up there. It's very cute. Sometimes when I'm in bed too, she sits on my shoulder. She's very sweet. Okay, say bye, baby girl. Bye. <laughs>